Good morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a renewing system, it's a regenerating system designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. If you have a loved one or family member, friend, workmate who's dealing with a health challenge, doesn't know what to do, that could be so frustrating when you're dealing with some kind of health issue and you have no idea where to go and you're not getting any help from the doctors. I know how that can be. I've been working with patients now for 30 years. It is so, not, not just frustrating, it's scary when you don't know what's going on. Let us help you clear up the confusion because really the bottom line to health challenges, no matter what they may be, if they're degenerative and they're progressive and they're getting worse, the bottom line is there is always, 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 always something you can do to help yourself or your patient or your client or your friend or your family or family member or workmate feel better. That's what this is about, feeling better. We had a call yesterday from a gal, and I'm going to talk about this here uh, in just a moment. We had a call from a gal who was dealing with cancer. Cancer is the classic example of a disease where you just want to help the patient feel better. Now, can the body reverse cancers? Absolutely. I read a text that I got yesterday from a a guy uh, who had stage 4 colon cancer, and he reversed it just by diet and nutritional strategies alone. But when you have a patient who's dealing with cancer, or really any health challenge, your object is to help that patient, if you're interested in helping, your object is to help that patient feel better, feel stronger, have more energy, have more zest. The body will take care of the healing because it's a renewing system. So if you're dealing with a health challenge and you want help, please let us help you out. That's what we're here for. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about formulations or ingredients or skin health problem, skin health uh, issues or skin products, 844-236-6010 is our number. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, we love hearing about those. 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, Please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team, 866-735-2470. For a one-time $25 fee, you can join me in my mission to help the world understand how simple and how easy it can be to reverse chronic degenerative disease and to get on a good nutritional supplement program. If you're a helper like I am, and you just want to help people, or if you have noticed the kind of results that I talk about on this program every day in your own life, and you want to share that with people, the longevity, the longevity business gives you an opportunity not just, to, not just to help spread the word, not just to provide products, but of course to make some money while you're doing it as well. So if you're a helper and you want to make money by helping people, not by taking advantage of people like a lot of other businesses, but by making a difference, please call the phone team at 866-735-2470 and tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team. You can also head over to our blog, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com, as well as brightsideben.com. Order products or sign up right off the website. And of course, if you want any of our Truth Skin Health products, Go to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look at our retinol 5% gel. Check out our blog. And uh, like my Facebook page, The Truth With Ben, and you'll get all kinds of posts. Uh, We post regularly at The Truth With Ben. And also, uh, uh, well, check it. It's nice to have it's nice to have followers on the Facebook page. We'll, we'll just leave it at that. The truth with Ben. Okay, 
So we got a call yesterday from a gal, and I apologize for the network just crashed towards the end of the program yesterday and had a bunch of calls on, had a bunch of folks holding on the line. So if you're listening uh, and you were left on hold, tell our call screener and we'll get you first up. One of the gals who called was a lady whose husband was dealing with stage four lymphoma. And I thought this was so important that I, I really want to address this. Uh, lymphoma is a blood cancer. It, the major risk factors for lymphoma are immune system issues, autoimmune disease. Lymphoma is a cancer of the immune system. Old age is associated with lymphomas. And lymphoma, like all cancer, like all disease really, is disease. This is what we were talking about yesterday, and that's why I thought this call was so important. Disease is disease. The body's out of ease. Cancer is dis-ease. Cancer is the sign of a stressed out system, a stressed out body, specifically stressed out cells. In the case of lymphoma, the stresses are uh, involve the white blood cells, the lymphocytes, hence the term lymphoma. It's a white blood cell cancer, a lymphocyte cancer, but it's a cell cancer. It's like all cancers. It's a sign of stressed out cells. Cells that are starving, cells that are suffocated, cells that are toxic, and no matter what you hear uh, periodically about this causing cancer and that causing cancer, this pesticide causes cancer, and this herb, uh, medicine or herb causes cancer, and this food causes cancer, we hear this all the time. But really, at the level of the cell, there's only three things that cause all diseases, including cancer. At the level of a cell, and because all diseases sell disease, this is really what, what sickness is about, including cancer. Cells that are starving, suffocated, and toxic, and then they become, or this body becomes inflamed. The body protects itself from these starved, suffocated, toxic cells by building a wall around them. That's called inflammation. And unfortunately, while that's protective in the short run, when it's chronic, it leads to more starvation, suffocation, toxification. And this is, at the core, responsible for Every single disease that you can name in, the ter in terms of chronic, long-term, progressive diseases. S uh, cells that are suffocating, cells that are starving, and cells that are toxic. And this is so important because there's nothing about it. There's nothing doctory. There's nothing medicine can do here. There's nothing medicine can do to s uh, repair or correct a condition of starvation, suffocation, and toxification. It can only make things worse. This is why all they do is work with test scores and markers because they're helpless at the level of a cell. They can't do anything at that level. But it doesn't matter because we can. That's the good news. You know, I could sit here and rip on the medical model. It's not, that doesn't, that's, that's not helpful. And it's not anybody's fault either. And I know how sometimes Doc gets, Dr. Wallach gets ticked off. I, I get ticked off, too, because we're out there trying to help people, and it's like the medical model is throwing stumbling blocks in our way. So I know it's easy to get ticked off, but that doesn't help. The good news is the body can do it. The body can do it on its own. Now, as far as this gal goes with lymphoma, her husband had lymphoma, typical signs of lymphoma, by the way, or enlargement of the lymph nodes. Sometimes you get some fatigue or shortness of breath or sweating, night sweats, fever, weight loss. Although oftentimes people who have lymphomas aren't going to have any symptoms at all until they're diagnosed. And they won't even know they have lymphoma until they get a diagnosis. About 80,000 people a year are diagnosed with lymphoma. There's two major types. They call them Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's. Non-Hodgkin's is by far and away the most frequent of the lymphomas. There's also another kind called multiple myeloma. That's somewhat rare. But in general, lymphomas are one of the more treatable cancers. They use radiation, they use chemotherapy. But from a reversal perspective, from a recovery perspective, it doesn't really matter what your lymphoma is or uh, whether it's Hodgkin's or multiple myeloma or not Hodgkin's lymphoma. It doesn't really matter. There are differences, yes. In, uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma is typically around the chest or the abdomen. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is more about the lymph... Uh, it's more about uh, 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 the lymph nodes. Actually, the other way around. It doesn't really matter. In terms of see, dealing with cancer, none of this stuff matters. In terms of dealing with cancer, what you got to understand is you got to calm the body down. This is the whole point. This is what we were talking about yesterday. You got to calm the body down. And there's so many ways to deal with lymphoma. We'll, we'll uh, talk about this when we come back from a break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay. 
Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Benny for 4236610 is our number. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you're dealing with a health challenge you need help with, 844-236-6010 is our number. I apologize to all the callers who were left on hold yesterday when we crashed, as sometimes happens on the Internet. Um, if you were left on hold, call 844-236-6010 and tell our call screener that we left you on hold and we'll get you first up. If you're interested in checking out our longevity products, head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And of course, if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a special look at our Retinol 5% Gel, as well as our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. If you want one product, I say get the Truth Serum. That's the most powerful, probably the most powerful of all the products. Truth Serum is made with lots of vitamin C, as all my Truth Health Skin Health products are always made with lots of vitamin C. Super duper duper important topical vitamin for the skin. And then uh, the True Serum also has some cholesterol in it. Also has a couple of herbal extracts for inflammation. And all the Truth products are made with fullerenes, by the way, which are really interesting high-tech ingredients that improve the penetration of the active material. Because in skin health, it's all about the penetration. It's all about what's getting underneath the surface of the skin. This is what makes Truth Treatment products so effective. They're based on my pharmacist's understanding of delivery. That's what pharmacists study. We study delivery, how to deliver su substances into the body. What I did was I applied those ideas to skin health. That's what I've been doing for 30 years in, in my uh, practice and in my career as a skin health product formulator is accessing or helping the helping uh, products access the lower levels of the skin. Anyway, you can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. Truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we're talking here about lymphoma specifically, but really all chronic degenerative diseases. There's some specifics with lymphoma, of course. It's a lymph cancer, lymphocyte cancer, cancer of the white blood cells involves enlarged lymph nodes. But from a reversal perspective, from a health perspective, from a getting the patient stronger, better perspective, from making the patient happier perspective, it doesn't matter what kind of lymphoma you have. Yes, the doctors will tell you you need to know the type of lymphoma because the chemotherapy or the radiation, all the medical treatments depend on the specific category. But the body doesn't work that way. The bodies is, diseases in the body are based on a, the generic nature of the body. But there's a certain generic nature. We all have the same bodies. It's, it's all made up of cells and stuff. We all have the same system. It's not like it, diseases need to be addressed specifically unless you're a specifist. We call those specialists. Specialists are the only ones who think that we have special diseases. In terms of cancer, in terms of all disease, but especially in terms of cancer, you calm the body down. That's the whole trick to this whole idea is calm the body down. We talked to this gal yesterday, Lou. And actually, Lou's on the line here, it looks like. I'm, I'm going to pick Lou up here, I think. Do something a little a little out of the ordinary here. Lou, are you there? Hey, Lou. Yes, I'm I'm here. Hi. Have you been listening? I have been, definitely. Uh, is it helpful? Very, very helpful. I just wanted to get some details of how I... Okay, I'm going to give you some stuff, Lou. I, I'm going to give you some stuff, so just listen in, because I, I didn't, you know, I, I usually don't take calls, but I saw you were here, so I'm going to talk to you, so just listen up, okay? okay. I'm going to give you some, a lot of ideas. Calming the body down is the key to dealing with any cancer, and here's, this is an important point, and this is what I didn't get to make, the point I didn't get to make to you yesterday. Lou, your job is to help your husband feel better. Don't worry about curing the disease. Don't worry about the lymphoma. You got to make your husband strong and ha you just want him to feel better. All right? And all the strategies I'm giving you are going to help him feel better. Yesterday we ta I told you about hyperbaric oxygen, driving oxygen into the into the system with a, a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. Many hospitals have those. I told you about intravenous nutrition, vitamin C, selenium, glutathione. These are all very important. There's something called the Myers cocktail, which is an intravenous blend of various nutrients, including the B complex. I'd be going hyper. I'd be going intravenous nutrition. Uh, you definitely want to do all, you know, regular nutrition, but intravenous is very helpful because you don't have to worry about the, the digestive system. And oftentimes in lymphoma, there's digestive system involvement. So, or in any cancer, really. So I'd be going intravenous, and then. I don't know if I, I don't remember if I told you about fasting and caloric restriction. I got an article here from uh, this is from last year, late last year, from the British Medical Journal, 
uh, British Medical Journal report uh, on a, a lady who had follicular lymphoma, which is a type of lymphoma, common type of lymphoma. Uh, bottom line here is they put her on a 21-day water-only fast, after which enlarged lymph nodes were substantially reduced in size. Continuing here, the patient then consumed a diet of minimally processed plant foods, free of sugar, oil, and salt. I don't know what that's about, the salt, but sugar and oil. And has remained on the diet since leaving the residential facility at uh, nine-month follow-up visits. She was uh, asymptomatic. All right, that's, that's fasting and a vegan, uh, a vegan diet. Then, got another one here on uh, caloric restriction. We're going to do with this other one. This one is uh, caloric restriction and fasting delay the formation of tumors in mice. Now, there's lots of studies like this. Fasting and caloric restriction are two very, very advisable strategies for anyone dealing with cancer. And it should come as no surprise because it's good for everything. Calming the body down involves restricting calories. Calories are heat. So keeping the calories down calms everything down, and that helps the body uh, conserve its resources for fighting cancer. Now, I'm not saying fasting cures lymphoma. That's not my point here. What I'm trying to point out is the power of calming the body down, not just for dealing with lymphoma and cancer, but for all health issues of which lymphoma and cancer are just examples. Are you, is that all this makes sense to you, Lou? Yes, it does. You want your husband to feel better, feel stronger. When he eats, have him eat bone soup, make homemade chicken soup, and also vegetable juices. In fact, that's what I'd be subsisting on. And maybe, some, uh, maybe coconut oil and your ultimate EFAs. You want to make sure you're getting your ultimate essential fatty acids as well. And I, I'm guaranteeing you, Lou, guaranteeing, if you follow everything I just told you, guaranteeing your husband is going to feel better. Not because this is magic, because it's logic. See the distinction? Makes sense? Everything, everything I say makes sense, Lou? Makes sense, yes. Okay, good. I hope I helped you. Yeah. All right. God bless you, and good luck with everything. All right. The idea here, uh, what we're talking about here is so important because it liberates us. It frees us from the medical model. Do we need drugs and surgeries? Okay, maybe. Perhaps. I'm not saying never. there's never a benefit to a surgical procedure or medication. But for the most part, our health is not a medical issue. Autoimmunity, degenerative disease where the body just deteriorates. Even cancer itself are not issues of the medical model. This is a, a study that just came out yesterday from the journal Frontiers in Neuroscience. All right, this is awesome. Dementia is now thought to be an immune system problem. University of Adelaide researchers have developed new theory for the causes of dementia and other neurodegenerative diseases. That's Parkinson's disease and Bell's palsy and multiple sclerosis, all auto neurodegenerative diseases. It's all basically the same thing. What is this new idea? This brilliant new concept? An out of control immune system. Somebody's been listening to the bright side, apparently, because we've been talking about this for years. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll get your phone calls when we come back from our break. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about longevity products or skin health problems or health issues in general, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, we especially love hearing those. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team, you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel or Truth Serum or Truth Balm, or Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, you can head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so this is from uh, the University of Adelaide. Researchers have found a new theory for the cause of dementia. What is it? An out-of-control immune system. Uh, fancy that. This is from the journal Frontiers in Neuroscience. They call it auto-inflammation. I love this term, auto-inflammation. This is, the, uh, this is uh, uh, according to the article, strong evidence that auto-inflammation, the body's uh, condition where the body's 
own immune system develops a persistent inflammatory response and causes brain cells to die. Hello? We've been talking about this for years. Folks, don't wait for, if you're dealing with a degenerative disease or if you have a loved one dealing with Alzheimer's, you don't have to wait for some scientific study to prove common sense. This is common sense. You don't need a doctor to tell you this. Behind all degeneration is inflammation and immunity and defense and a hyped up body, a freaked out body. I love this article though because it's everything we've been talking about. Previously, researchers have focused on the role of protein deposits. This is what they tell you. This is the standard dogma. Protein deposits cause Alzheimer's. I'm, uh, some of you may have caught this a uh, couple months ago, cover story of Time Magazine, the Alzheimer's pill. This is how doctors, this is the latest treatment for, for Alzheimer's. This is the latest strategy. By the way, there's, uh, uh, since 2000, there have been 244 drugs for Alzheimer's, uh, 244 uh, drugs approved for Alzheimer's. I'm sorry, 244 drugs tested for Alzheimer's. Only one was approved. One drug for Alzheimer's disease approved among 244 tested. What does that tell you? You can't treat it with drugs, although now they have a vaccine. This is the craziest thing. They want to vaccinate you against a degenerative disease, but they don't vaccinate you against the degeneration. They vaccinate you against the proteins that develop in response to the degeneration. You cannot treat Alzheimer's medically. It's a neurodegenerative disease. It's a degenerative process. The body's breaking down. It's not a medical issue. There are many, this is from the article, there are many distinct forms of neurodegeneration, including Alzheimer's disease, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Huntington's. Folks, they're the same thing. These conditions are distinguished by different types of nerve, uh, brain nerve cells. And check this out. Quote, however... As all of these diseases progress, they become similar, unquote. They're the same thing. Of course, they become similar. Professor Richards believes that instead of many different mechanisms, each, quote, check this out, each disease has the same mechanism and common pathway for nerve cell loss. What am I saying here? I'm telling you, the body is protecting itself it shows up as an inflammation, and that's where disease comes from. What that means is we got to figure out what the body's protecting itself from. That's the goal. What is the body trying to defend itself against? And almost always is going to involve food, the digestive system, and then later on it'll involve sugar. And that's it. And they're not medical issues, period. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Farm Spen. You're listening to The Bright Side. Let's go to Stephanie in California. What's up, Steph? How you doing? Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Can you hear me okay? I hear you great. How you doing today? Great. I'm doing well. Um, my issue has been polyps for quite okay. some time. And oh. I thought I had really, really bad allergies until I went and took an allergy test. And apparently I didn't have any allergies. And nasal so, polyps? Nasal polyps? Nasal polyps, yes. Okay. All right. So, polyp so is, a polyp is a growth, right? Basically, that's the, the cells are just dividing like crazy. In a way, it's a lot like cancer. Cells dividing out of control. It's not quite as out of control as cancer, but it's still a, a, a dysregulation of cell growth. All right? This is a very common, fundamental way that the body breaks down. The cells lose their ability to control how they grow. All right, and that's polyps, and that's cysts, and that's fibroids. These are just the same basic idea. Cells dividing out in an out of, and cancer. Cells dividing in an out of control fashion. Okay, so when cells divide in an out of control fashion, it usually involves the outside part of the cell. The outside part of the cell is called the cell membrane, and the cell membrane is based in fats. So whenever you have polyps or you have cysts or you have fibroids, the first thing to focus on is how the body is dealing with fats, whether it's not getting enough fats or whether it's not processing them correctly. It's very common in women, by the way, and this is why women deal with this condition with polyps and cysts and growths much more than men. It involves uh, uh, fats and it involves the uh, uh, steroid hormones, specifically estrogen. So the first thing to do when you, these kinds of growths appear, whether they're in the colon or whether they're in the uh, reproductive system or whether in the, in the nose, wherever they are, all right, you want to work on the fatty part, uh, uh, how the body's processing fats. That means t in fatty vitamins for one and essential fatty acids, okay? Vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, to a certain extent, uh, vitamin K, that's always a good idea, as well as your EFAs. 
20,000 IU of vitamin A, 400 IU of vitamin E. Uh, get the sun. Sun's the best way to get your vitamin D. If you're going to do it in a supplement, around 5,000 IU of vitamin D3, and then 5,000 or so micrograms of vitamin K2. 1,000 to 5,000 micrograms. Make sure you're using your ultimate EFAs. You also got to be processing fats correctly, and that means probiotics. Okay. Now you notice I'm not saying anything about the nose here. You notice this, Stephanie? We're talking. We're talking about this, right? We're talking about the system here. So. It's not a nasal problem. It's a polyp problem. It's a, a, a tissue problem, not a nasal problem. And that's the most important thing to understand. Then you want to work on how your body processes fats. Now, I'm guessing that you had an issue that way, either an issue with your menstrual cycle or an issue with gallbladder, or an issue with how your body is, how, how you feel after you eat fats. Any of this sound familiar to you? Yeah, and I'm always, I've always been, I feel underweight. Okay. And that I'm could... not getting that I'm not getting enough, but I eat, I think I eat healthy. It could have something to do with how you're absorbing fats. You know, the fats are involved with how you grow. Do you notice that you have digestive issues after certain foods? You have, to, I mean, they have to be there. You may not notice them, but they have to be there. Are there certain foods yes, that cause you problems? Okay, yeah. yeah. So that you, then you probably have an absorption issue. So this is why we're working on the digestive system here. Get on probiotics, a good, uh, the good bacteria. I'm sure you heard that term. Uh, the Biolumin Nightly, I'm sorry, the Ultimate Nightly Essence, it's now being called, from Longevity, nine capsules a day, fermented foods, would help you to do an elimination diet where you fast for a couple of days, and then as you start to uh, add in food, you pay attention to how you're responding to that food, and then you eliminate foods that cause problems. That's called the elimination diet, and writing everything down in a food diary helps. The reason you want to fast before you do your elimination diet is because you'll resensitize yourself. You'll start to notice things you wouldn't have noticed otherwise. So doing a fast can help. Uh, also, make sure you're using uh, digestive enzymes with all your meals, and then also m substances that help your body process fats. The digestive enzymes will help, but also lecithin, bile salts, B-I-L-E, bile salts, the amino acid taurine, that can be helpful for helping the body process fats. Got a lot, a few more things to say, so hang on, Stephanie, okay? Okay. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Stephanie in California. Stephanie, you there? Yeah. All right, so you got some nasal polyps. They're not a nasal condition. They're a polyp condition. They're a sign that uh, cells are not growing as they should be growing. And that means you've got, typically when that occurs, you've got the outer part of the cell issue. That's called the cell membrane. The cell membrane is fatty. Cells talk to each other at the membrane level. So whenever you have cells dividing out of control, first thing to focus on is the cell membrane, which means fats. And that means in terms of supplements, vitamin A, D, E, K, making sure you're getting out in the sun, making sure you're using your essential fatty acids, your ultimate EFAs from longevity, nine capsules a day, and then helping your body process fats using digestive enzymes, lecithin, bile salts. You know what all these are, lecithin? You get all this at the health food store. Lecithin, bile, B-I-L-E, bile salts, helping the body make bile, making sure you're taking care of your liver is very important for all polyp and, and, and cyst issues, all growth issues. Uh, uh, gallbladder as well is involved. Gallbladder health is involved too. I'd be doing an elimination diet. Oftentimes, the, uh, uh, the gallbladder and the liver, for that matter, can be negatively affected by eating the wrong kinds of foods. So the elimination diet can be helpful, especially if you know you have a history of food problems. Always fast before you do the elimination diet or do a Swero V cleanse before you do the elimination diet. And then when you start eating again, you, the way you do the elimination diet is you focus on your favorite foods first which is great because you get to eat your favorite foods, but not great because you find out typically for most people, your favorite foods were a problem. Make sense so far? Yes. Okay. When you start eating, uh, when you start eating again, in addition to the elimination diet, focus on easy to process foods, soups and juices. Now you do need fiber, so make sure you're using a Vitamix to get your veggies. And then coconut oil can be helpful as a source of fat. Use coconut oil and butter to cook with. I would be staying away from processed fats for sure. I'd be staying away from all processed foods. And then, of course, you want to be on the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, including, I would throw in also the Fucoid Z, which has uh, some really interesting blood purifying properties made with Fucoidin, and uh, it's relatively inexpensive. Nine capsules of the Fucoid Z a day. All right, does that help you, Stephanie? i got to move on here, my dear. Yes, thank you. Okay, have a great day. Good to talk to you. You too. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, let's go to Dave in Connecticut. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the Bright Side. How are you today? Doing good. How are you, Dave? 
Good, good, good. I did have a question about rosacea, but I think I'm going to switch gears because there's somebody that's more in need than I am. Oh, how kind of you. Well, you know what? Because you're being so nice, we'll help both of you. How's that? In one fell swoop. That's, what, that's great. Okay. What's, well, what's your friend? Um, my cousin, actually, he's 42 years old and um, was just told that he needs a knee replacement. Okay. And, uh, you know, his, his, one of his knees is, is shot. And um, aside from getting the healthy bone and joint pack, what do you recommend? That, lots of things. Uh, should do? Lots, lots of things. First of all, what, was he an athlete? How does he need a knee replacement at the age of forty-two? Is he overweight? He's a is he an athlete? He, he, well, he's you know a little bit heavy. He's not you know, but he's been an athlete his whole life, and then he's a plumber as well. So he's constantly on his knees working. So well, he may or may not need a knee replacement. I don't know because I'm not there. But I will tell you that knee replacement surgery is a business, and knee replacement facilities are factories where they, they move them in and move them out, and they make $50,000 a knee or some ridiculous amount of money a knee. There's a huge financial incentive to do knee replacements. I'm not saying he doesn't need it, because I don't know, but I just want yeah. you to keep that in mind, okay? You have your cousin mm -hmm. keep it in mind. The second thing is, is that when you're dealing with a knee replacement surgery, uh, there's a lot of things you could do to not only mitigate the, the, uh, the, the uh, inflammation and the... Uh, uh, the, the assault on the body, because it is an assault on the body, as all surgical procedures are, but also to speed the healing. So you should be doing lots of things nutritionally. For one thing, he should start, be, he should start doing digestive enzymes before and after surgery. And this is real important for anybody who's dealing with a surgical procedure. Pre-surgery and post-surgery, using the ultimate enzymes can reduce the inflammation that's associated with the surgical procedure and help the body recover faster. Okay, right. so that's the He's first thing to, to do. Avoid surgery also. Oh, that's good. Doesn't want the surgery. Then yeah. do the ultimate enzymes as an anti-inflammatory, and still do them. Okay. Okay. Make sure he's doing lots of vitamin C. Vitamin C is the key that turns on the, the, the machinery, the, ign the ignition for the connective tissue building system in the body. Vitamin C is the key to it. And by key, I mean literally like a key. It turns it on. Without vitamin C, that, you can't build connective tissue. So make sure he's doing enough vitamin C. You'll get that in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and that's part of your bone and joint pack. Glucosamine, take of course. Any extra C besides that? I would. Like I would take an extra 1,000. Or, something like yeah, that? Yeah, I would take ascorbic acid, 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams extra a day. Ascorbic Internally, acid. ascorbic okay. acid is, is great. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I said okay. Yep. Okay, good. All right. Then uh, a couple other things that are, that are very important in addition to the glucosamine is cartilage from bones, chicken soup, bone soup. Make sure he's doing lots of that. Uh, I would also be doing making sure he's getting enough protein, whey protein. The chicken soup will also get him protein, but also whey protein. Uh, I would also be using about 400 milligrams a day of alpha lipoic acid in combination with 400 IU of vitamin E or even 800 IU of vitamin E a day. Very, both of those work together as anti-inflammatories. And then also, uh, in addition to the, uh, everything he's going to get from the Healthy Star Pack, it would probably be a good idea for him to get a little bit extra zinc, 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate and vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day of vitamin A. Uh, let's see if anything else I can come up with here. Uh, the ultimate EFA is stupendously important. The strategy here is, is twofold, anti-inflammation and building. The ultimate EFAs can help with both of those. They're anti-inflammatory, and they can also stimulate the building of connective tissue. And then keeping, making sure, 100% sure, nothing gets into the system, by that I mean the blood, that will amplify the inflammatory response. That means sugar and digestive toxicity. That means anything that, has to, that messes up his digestive system should be avoided. And sugar is the, the devil when it comes to inflammation and when it comes to things like joint, joint problems, whether you're talking knees or elbows or any, part, any joint issue, and whether you're talking arthritis or knee replacement surgery or anything else. Sugar and uh, digestive toxins, things that cause digestive distress, need to, be, uh, need to be zero tolerance, ideally, but as little of those kinds of foods as he can, as he can get away with. Now, as far as rosacea goes, is that all right? did that help you with your cousin? Yeah, no, that's, that's tremendous. That's good. great. Thank you. Okay, good deal. Now, as far as your rosacea goes, here's the most important thing about rosacea. And I have a, you know, I've been in the skin business for a long time. So yeah, yeah. the thing about rosacea is it makes me angry when I hear dermatologists and people on the internet and estheticians and people who should know better talking about rosacea as if it were a skin condition. It is not a skin condition. Okay, it can be associated sometimes with oily skin, but it is not a skin condition. It's a blood condition. Does it make sense? You follow me so far? Yeah. Is, is it for yep. you, Dave? Yes, yeah, for me. Yes. Okay. 
It's a sign that something's getting into the blood and the body is reacting. And you know good and well, Dave, that there are certain foods that will make it worse, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Anybody with rosacea can tell you that. There's certain things you ingest that will make it worse. That's all you need to know to know that it's a blood condition. So what you got to do is you got to work on the digestive system. There's a bacteria called H. pylori that is involved, and that is uh, H. pylori is a, is a bacteria that we have, but it overgrows, and it overgrows in the digestive system under certain conditions, specifically when we're not making enough stomach acid. So acidifying your digestive system and working with the digestive system is the key to dealing with rosacea. Elimination diet, like we've been talking about, where you keep track of all your foods and then eliminate the ones that cause problems. Acidifying the digestive contents with apple cider vinegar or with uh, aloe juice with your meals can help, or something called betaine HCL, B-E-T-A-I-N-E, betaine HCL, which you can get, which you'll get in the ultimate enzymes. Using the ultimate enzymes for that matter can also help you. Uh, you can, if you want, you can go to the uh, uh, the pharmacist and get, a, or go to the doctor and then get a prescription, and take it to a compounding pharmacist for something called HCL drops, which is literally hydrochloric acid drops, and you do a couple of those with your meals. You can use uh, stomach bitters before your meals to help stimulate digestive juices. Uh, in addition to the ultimate enzymes and the bile salts, you can, uh, in addition to the ultimate enzymes, you can take extra bile salts, and then also you can also take uh, lecithin and and uh, other digestive support supplements, taurine can be helpful. Anything you do to support digestive health, that's how you want to look at rosacea. Now, if you have oily skin associated with it, you may want to use some topical vitamin B5. You can make your own topical vitamin B5 drying, uh, drying product with a little zinc oxide. All you got to do is get some zinc oxide and some vitamin B5 capsules and put it in your favorite moisturizer. Uh, moisturizing cream and kind of spread it on the skin. You don't want anything too heavy, obviously, because you already have oily skin, but the zinc oxide will sop up extra oils. And vitamin B5 plays a really interesting role in the fat production machinery, if you will. And by the way, that's another good supplement to deal with if you're uh, interested in helping uh, helping the body process and utilize fats. Dave, I got to motivate. I hope I helped you, buddy. Thanks yeah, for your thank call. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Appreciate your call. All right, take care. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about the whole idea of calming the body down. We'll talk more. We'll start to get into some of the steroid hormones, particularly DHEA, the body's most abundant steroid hormone. Thanks for listening, friends. Check out my website, truthtreatments.com, and our Truth Skin Health products, and we'll talk to you all later. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome day. Bye for now.